Hello and welcome back. My name is Andrei. And I'm Dominika. And we're back again with another reaction to Iron Maiden. We haven't been back with Iron Maiden for quite oh, some wow. time, so I'm very happy. Uh, with the song Afraid to Shoot Strangers. Not very happy about that, actually. Uh, I did read a little bit about the song itself. But anyway, today we're doing it thanks to Patrick. So thank you so, thank so you. much. You mentioned in, a, uh, in your comment that uh, this song is quite dark, but really, really beautiful. So um, here we are. The words was kind of F beautiful. F. Yeah. That, that, that's what Patrick put. But uh, okay, we cannot swear. <laughs> I don't swear. Public, I swear on in my house. Yes, we do sometimes. <laughs> you do? I. Well, for me, swearing is just a word. Doesn't mean nothing. When you swear, we had a conversation. When you swear in English, probably for non English speakers like us, it doesn't mean that much. But if I start swearing in Polish, I, I'll be mortified. That my mama can hear me or my granny and they can you help. actually you can swear in polish to me if you want because i don't understand so <laughs> anywho back to the song patrick once again thank you so much thank and you here we are ready yes like it dark and cold very and a bit playing with your mind a bit because i'm i'm thinking you the lyrics i was saying i'm just mm. imagine yourself drafted there draw it yeah. drop it in the middle of the world somewhere to 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 have to do the that job with you we didn't supposed to actually but because of these politicals from all over around the world they keep yeah. wanna more and more yeah Oh, well. Innocent people die because of. You know, um, we interest. did read that the uh, the inspiration behind that song it was a Gulf War, which Gulf took, War, yeah, took in place. 90, 90, 90 till nineteen ninety one. Yes, and um, and the song was released in ninety two, and but listening to the lyrics and reading the lyrics, uh, um, you could easily make that connection with any war, really. 
I think uh, all the soldiers sent uh, to a foreign land to fight, they uh, the same confused mm -hmm. and um, you know not sure without a, any reason explanation. They were just sent to do the job, but uh, you know there was a there was in the lyrics was about uh, and the, even the uh, the title "Afraid to Shoot Strangers," and it kind of makes me think. You know what they more what are you more afraid of, of dying or killing? Because I don't think there is, um, I'm talking about the normal, ordinary people, that killing is an easy job to do, you know, even if you're a soldier, it's not, it's not something you would do lighthearted. Oh yeah, I'm going to war, I'm going to shoot some people, bad guys. I don't think it works like that. Mm. Uh, you, you're going to come back probably with, and you have all that things carrying, bring it back with you from oh, the war. Oh, that's for sure. That's and it's going to sure. hunt all your life probably. The... Yeah, but I was just wondering, you know, what, what is the biggest fear, you know, that just pressing that trigger to kill someone, take someone else's life or the fear of you dying and never seeing, you know, home again. Um, it makes me think, I always think King... I always was thinking when we were listening to the songs like that about more about the dying part that mm -hmm. this is scary you never see your family and but actually you know you go in there and you have to kill someone or you were told you, you will be killed yeah you have to kill that's your job you're going to kill you, you you've been kind of employed as a as a killer of of another human being i don't know it, it kind of uh, shake you to your core when you think about it. and the song changed the pace a little bit now so i'm very curious to see Ready? Yes.
drop the mic. You know, for me personally, the last part was the most beautiful. It's feel, you know, I, I, I have a problem with, not a problem, I don't have any problems. I want to say with Iron Maiden, I feel each song is a classic. Mm -hmm. The way the, so the sound, the, first of all, they come with the nice stories, always. They have that kind of fascinating yeah, yeah. kind of story. Then the vocals, mm -hmm. you cannot deny the vocals in Iron Maiden. And then, the guitar. Yeah, so. well, that, that's, I don't know, it's, the sound is so unreal. How do you make something like that? I agree. I, but also listening to that song, you know, I always appreciate um, artists, band or, or single artists, when they can, with their music, they can kind of um, awake some emotions in me. And especially with this one, I could feel literally not only from the lyrics, but from the music itself, literally everything, the fear, the confusion, the, the um, you know, the relief, kind of the mixture of the, and the music was going like that. The first part was so slow that he was even singing at the beginning and lying in a, in a bed and the, mm. having the sweat on the eyebrow and all that. And it was that preparation, the night before what's going to happen the next day. And then the middle part, when it was a little bit faster, it was getting ready mm -hmm. for the mission. And then you were in the middle of that battle. And I really, you know, with the, with my heart beating so fast, I was feeling that that, there, that that fear of shooting someone or being killed, what's going to happen, this unknown, seeing all the, you know, all the horror scenes when you see when you're in a, on a battlefield, when you um when you're at war and then it kind of the last part slowed down a little bit it was the after the you're still kind of pumped by what's happening but you you return and um oh, and then you're preparing for the next day and you kind of i felt all this emotion only through the music not the lyrics mm -hmm. the music was kind of going that i was seeing that picture i was going there with the and it's you know what we've done a few um it's always a hard topic to I talk about you know the war and i always say that i i personally i never experienced thanks god for that you know any um any war and i only know from from what my you know from the history or from what my granny was saying to me and telling a story back and also from from other people i can i cannot even begin to imagine the feeling being there mm -hmm. you know you know it's bad you know it's wrong and sitting in a comfortable chair um in my house it's uh, i can only oh my god it's so so bad mm -hmm. and so sad but i don't think what i'm feeling is enough the real how is it to probably yeah. mortify to to really be to leave I that i cannot thing even imagine day after day yeah well the thing is it when you say it which one is can be the hardest is it the thought you're gonna die or the thought you're gonna i i don't think i can i never even think of that thing i mean always you think not to die I think is that the kind of thing kind of, of conservation, you, you're surviving, you try, and I think that's even called it war, you try to go kill someone to, you know, you, yeah, yeah the war. someone have to win, right? I think that's what's, uh, that's what's gonna change you if you come back alive, that's what's gonna change you for the rest of the life. It's not only, because like I said, I always thought about the war as a, what you see there, you know, the dead bodies, the, the injured people, the horror of the war. And your fear to, you know, not to be able to come home. But I never, very rarely you think about the fact that you are responsible partially for what... Most of the time we're just thinking uh, good guys and bad guys. Yeah. And uh, yeah. That's I think the, the guys in the it's more sent to that. war, they, I don't think they're bad guys. They... The beginning of the song, I did feel it really, really cold and dark. And then in the end, I did like it more because we start, I don't know, you say a release. Or, but I don't know, feel more, uh, took that um, heaviness a bit mm. away. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was truly beautiful. Melodically was Iron Maiden. Alright, hope you enjoy our reaction and see you again next time. Have a lovely day and all the best. Take care.